Okay, so we have a summer collegiate game right here, and we have a triple play. I got this emailed to me. They didn't ask me to break it down. Just said, hey, check out this triple play. You know what? I'm going to break it down because I think we can learn from both the base running aspect of it and then also the defensive side of it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We've got the bases loaded right here, and we're going to get this high fly ball that goes foul. So all three base runners tag up. The ball is caught, it's thrown in, the runner at third stops, but the runner from first goes all the way to second. Now we get the throw here, almost yips it in the right field. We get the run down between first and second. We get the tag there, runner's coming home, we're going to throw the ball home, catch, tag, and a triple play. So let's break it down now and go step by step and talk about what could have been done differently on the base paths. And if the defense did things properly, we're going to rewind real quick. Okay, so we get the fly ball to right field here. It's going to tail foul. You've got the first baseman, the second baseman, and the right fielder all going after this ball. The right fielder is going to make the catch here. You've got all three base runners tagging up. When a ball is foul, you're going to tag up. There's no purpose of getting off of the base because it's a foul ball. If it's caught, you've got to tag up. If it drops, it's a foul and there is no play. So everybody tags up. Now here's the key. The throw is going to come in to the plate. There's the throw to the plate. Nice one hop throw to the plate. Now everything is predicated off of this runner right here. We know the throw's coming into the plate. So if he goes, well then he can move up and then he can move up. But if he doesn't go, if he stops and decides to retreat, well, then everyone else has to retreat. So here's the rule on the bases. Just follow the guy in front of you. Mirror the guy in front of you. So this guy is going to run. You're going to follow him. Just because he starts to run doesn't mean you put your head down and just sprint to third. You've got to run with your head up. This guy's got to run with his head up and watch this runner. So the runner at third is going to start to run. But right here, he shuts it down. He goes, okay, that guy caught it. He threw it well. It's going to be a one hop, or at least it looks like it's going to be a one hop right to the plate. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to risk getting thrown out at home. But if we watch this runner right here, watch what he does. He continues to run. So he doesn't have his head up. He never sees that guy stop. So he keeps running. Well, guess what? This runner right here, he's mirroring this runner. So when he sees him running hard and not stopping... He's going to follow him. By the time he stops, he's way too far off the base. But now this guy's way too far off of the base. So now we've got a big problem. We've got the either first baseman or second baseman. I can't tell which one it is right here. But he's going to hustle back in to first base. And now we've got the runners caught up. All right, So we've got two runners at second. Catcher trying to decide what he wants to do. He decides right here, since we have a guy standing at third and a guy standing at second, he's going to throw the ball to first. Scares me a little bit with this throw. Looks like he got a little bit nervous that he might throw it down the right field line. Doesn't throw it super hard, but he gets it there. Now we've got to run down in between first and second. Here's the thing. When we start to run this guy down, we're going to run him down, but we're also going to keep our eyes up in case the man at third breaks for home. If the guy breaks for home, we simply just throw the ball home, we catch, and we tag the guy out. The runner at third has a decision here. If the offense wanted, they could just stay here, stay here, let this guy get tagged out, and we have second and third with two outs. That could be a decision if you wanted to do that. Or you can force them to have a little bit of pressure. And so you've got to make a decision while this guy's running him here. You've got to try to time this out to make sure that you go before he gets tagged out and then there can be a throw to the plate. The last thing you want is a double play possibility. And that's what happens. He doesn't break home until this guy gets tagged. He gets tagged and now this guy breaks home, which is way too late. You allow the double play to happen. So you've got to decide at some point, like right here, go. Right? You've got to force it. You've got to go. Now he's got to slam on the brakes and make a good throw. But again, you allow him. You wait too long. You allow him to tag this runner and then throw the ball home for two outs, and really three outs because of that first catch. 
The other thing you could have done as the base runner here, right, because your job is really to stay in this rundown as long as you can. You're trying to go back and forth, trying to get this guy to be able to score. The other thing is when you're going to get tagged, one thing you can do is you can just lay down. You can just get down on the ground. Don't let this guy just be able to tag you easily right there in the chest. Like, right when you know you're going to get tagged, literally lay down perpendicular to the line. Make this guy bend over and have to touch you on the ground and then come up and make the throw. At least it's going to make it a tougher play. But if you just kind of stand there, he just kind of gives like this little shuffle back, but it's still an easy tag for him. And then again, a throw to the plate. And if he had laid down, I mean, the, the play is pretty close right here. They just barely get him. If this guy had laid down and made him reach down for the tag, he's probably safe at home. So just another thing that he could have done to make the play tougher on that guy who was tagging and throwing the ball home. Anyways, a lot of stuff happened right there. Not very good base running by a whole bunch of guys on the field. But good job defensively. They had to make multiple throws. The right field, they had to make the nice throw home. The catcher had to make the throw to first. The guy at first had to run him down while keeping an eye at the runner at third base. Had to apply the tag, throw the ball home, catch, tag. I mean, a lot of good defensive plays there. So let me know what you think in the comment section below about this. It's not every day you see a triple play, especially something like this. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.